All right, moving away from that, uh, last game. Next up on the Sage Showcase, we have T-Bat. Uh, T-Bat, a little bat who is sworn to protect his forest of tea, is awoken by a strange invasion of spooks. Flutter around a big connected world, bopping ghosts and collecting tea on your way to solve the mystery. There are 60 tea pucks to collect across the world's many nooks and crannies. Collect as many as you can. You may need them. Okay, that sounds cute. Shall we, then? Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you, Chip. A couple of lucky clovers, eh? Hey, wait a minute. They're only three leaves. They're not lucky at all. <laughs> badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. I know the reference. Press start. Start. Okay. What is this this layout? Okay, show no fear. Reach the stars option. What's option? What, what's the wide look like? What's normal look like? I would like wide, please. Actually, actually, let's do normal. Let's do normal. What's normal? Oh, I see. Press A. Oh, this is... Huh. Okay. How's the volume, by the way? This is almost like a particular Christmas song. Hmm. Well, this is unusual. Is hurt? No, they don't. So I'm looking for teapots, huh? Okay. Yeah, so the teacups are like not a big deal, but the tea. The, I don't know if they do. They do probably do something. It's just tea. Just, just glasses of the tea. Is this bat British? Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, thanks. How you doing? Ghost. Boo. Yes, I am a ghost. What of it? What do you mean, why? That's a bit of a personal question, don't you think? You might become a ghost yourself asking questions like that. Unless you want to be a ghost. Get your old pumpkin. Camel Forest, is this a test? You're supposed to be guarding the forest. If you need to ask me about it, there might be a problem. Or, I guess there is a problem. And that's why you're here. You really need to get better at your job. Okay. What, you, what can you sell me? Color lens. Allows T-Pat to, to see color. Oh, really? Spectral lens. Brings out the whole spectrum. Oh. Oh. So now I can see some colors. Oh, that's a that's a weird that's a clever little upgrade system. All right. So I can only see I can see some limited colors now. I like the welcome. All right, spec spectral winds, lens. There we go. Nice. This is cute. This art style. This makes me. Oh, this looks. You know what this makes me think of? Game Boy. This is Game Boy style. I like it. So what do we got here? Dusk palette, spring palette, aged palette, ink palette, still palette. Give me dusk. I think I bought it. How do I use it? Ah. Ooh, that's pretty. What if I turn those off and keep the dust palette? Nothing. I'm just having fun with the color, sorry. Do dust for now because it looks nice. Game Boy Color change options, yeah. Okay, this is this is good. This has personality. You know, I could honestly just let me just buy all the items in the shop right now. So I can do this. I know I have a lot of speed, so what I'm gonna do is uh. I 
I think I think I can speed run collecting this stuff, so. How much tea I got? Wait, Don? Wait, does, does he get more and more over time? Hold on. He does! Day... Sunrise. Oh. Charm. Begins playing game for a mission. Also, Charm forgets mission entirely when he realizes he can buy items in a shop and starts grinding for them. Suit Knight. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's good. That's good for the spooks. I like this also because it makes the animated sprites uh, stand out. I like Knight T2. Charm colors. It's very it's got a purple night thing going. Perfect. Yeah, I see the best way to grind is just do what I'm doing. The faster I run, the better, the more efficient it is. Also, I'm noticing something in the credits there. Unlimited tees is Unlimited Trees is credited. I have seen Unlimited Trees before. I think he was credited in some Sonic fan hacks. There's some Sonic hacks and also some, uh... I want to say he was also credited in... Uh, Sonic After and Before the Sequel, if I recall. Alright, Sunset Palette. There we go. Let's buy Spring and Summer. Autumn. I bought Spring, Summer, and Autumn. Let's switch it again. Uh... Summer. Oh my. I don't know if I like that palette, but it's, it's definitely a palette. What if the guy sells anything besides palettes and color stuff? It's actually, the one I really want. Winter. Okay. What does look like? That's also kind of just Shadow's colors. It does look wintry though. I'll give it that. I'm kind of wondering if I buy all his palettes, will I unlock like a full color palette that doesn't look like Game Boy anymore? Like that's kind of what's on my brain right now. I don't know why, but palettes are a lot of fun to unlock like in a game. Uh, this is not the first time I've seen a game do something like this, a more retro style game. Or even non-retro games. Like, I've seen some 3D games that have, like, an 8-bit style you can unlock. Which is also kind of interesting. By the way, as I run around wildly picking up endless amounts of tea, I'm kind of curious, how's the frame drop spin? Hi there, Tyke. How you doing today? dangerous. Bread tea? There's like themes. There's like different themes here. What's heat look like? Oh, that is look hot. Uh, that looks very hot. I like that. That reminds me of uh, Donkey Kong. One of the Donkey Kong Land Super Game like palettes, I believe. It was. 
It's funny how a palette change could change the entire feel of an area. Hey, Guan, thanks for coming by, by the way. Others, too, but thanks for coming by, Guan. It's nice to see you. Especially on a day where I'm not feeling too great. Oh, well, thank you, Tyke. Where do you work, by the way? I feel like I may have asked that question before, but... Uh, it's getting rare to drops on the frame rate. I don't, I don't quite understand the, the structure of that sentence, but I assume what you mean is that the frame drops are not that common. Which is good. Like I said, they're going to be really intermittent. They shouldn't really disturb things too much. It's just something we'll have to live with if I stream with this, so... Oh well. I hope YouTube forgives... I hope YouTube forgives me. When they sit down and watch these videos. Travis game faster than it each time. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically speedrunning these two screens. Kind of. I feel like I could do better with the speedrunning, but I am trying to optimize my. I am trying to optimize the route. Yes. They're getting less. That's good. Oh wow, I really- I opt- I absolutely optimize that- that run. Oh, that was optimized too! Ooh, the optimization! Okay, I messed it up. I'm like, kinda of making a game out of this. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can buy now. Olive tea, kiwi tea, Peppermint tea, gumdrop tea, hot dog tea! That sounds like the best tea. Have you ever had hot dog tea? Moon tea, sea tea, cosmic tea. Oh my god, that's expensive. Alright, cosmic tea, I'll buy you in a second. Alright, time to switch again. Wow, we have a lot of these now. Well, where's hot dog? I want hot dog tea. Hot- oh my god! Are you sure this isn't deep fried memes tea? That's sure what I'm getting the impression of right now. <laughs> Is anybody with me on that? <laughs> Hyper, what do you think? <laughs> I'm sure you would know. Who would use tea as currency, anyways, though? I'm gathering tea! So I can lock the deep fried memes, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Sleep will absolutely- I, I don't think I'm sleeping tonight, so you might- Your statement is kind of relevant, everyone. <laughs> You've never heard of deep fried memes? Oh my god. Hyper, out of all people, you've never heard of this. Okay. Uh, who here knows what I'm talking about when I say deep fried meme? Basically, it's where you take a, a really unfunny meme picture, and then you, have like, fucking color contrast and distort and break it apart so it looks absolutely horrendous. And that's a deep fried meme. I don't understand it, but that's what it is. I, like, like with many things meme-wise, I don't understand it. It seems that the, the basic theme of it seems to be, this is a horrible meme, let's make it more horrible by making it a terrible look at. I mean, I will, I will give them credit, they're investing, they're like going all the way with it. <laughs> now let me get that cosmic tea. Star tea! Goodness me, let's buy some of this. Phosphor tea, window tea, floppy tea, memory tea, terminal tea. Oh, we're getting like... 
All right, let's, let's see what should we equip now. Um, oh, it scrolls off to the side, huh? Oh my god, there's a whole other list. Let's try memory tea. I'd like memory tea sounds like a green tea or something. Shadow's colors again, I guess. Yes, yes, there isn't a mission to go on. There is tea kettles to collect, like the main collectible of the game. I, I should be going on an adventure beyond these three screens, but I'm sorry, I need all the pallets first. It's important. It's imperative, in fact. Optimizing this run is actually quite difficult. It's fun to try, though. There's something very satisfying about picking up these teacups really fast. I bet you- I bet you anything you're right. I bet you will get a, one of the tea kettles for doing this. And clearly what, the way this is supposed to be played is that I'm supposed to be going through the game. You know, gathering these as I do other things and then spend at the shop here and there. But I'm sorry. That's not the way I do things. That's not the way a charm does things. If you present a charm with uh, things he can buy, and you also present him with infinite money, if he just bothers to pick it up, then he will pick up the money and buy all the things as soon as possible. That is the charm way. That is what charm does in the video game. I'm the sort of guy that sees an expensive item in a shop at the beginning of a game, where the developer intended, the got, intended you to know it exists and then come back much later in the game for it. I'm the guy who saves up for it and then gets it, like, as early as possible. With some grind if necessary. Usually it's like some really ultra-powerful weapon for the end game or something, like an RPG. Now I'm just like, ooh, I want this end game weapon, like, right now, so I'm gonna grind for it because I want to see everything die. <laughs> That's kind of kind of how I work. Welcome. All right, give me some star tea. Ghost tea. That sounds like very important tea. I want to get terminal tea. As long as it doesn't give me a terminal disease. I think it's a different type of turtle, so I think we're okay in that regard. Let's see, what should we do now? Star T! Oh! It's just deep frame memes again, except for now more purple. So what was that, 400 for the next one? Alrighty. I like this song, by the way, it's a good... It, it's a class. it's almost a classical song, I think. I think that's a Christmas song. I don't know. I don't know what is that song. Maybe it's just a classical song. It's almost that song. Does anybody know what I was just humming? I don't. It looks- we're almost- it looks like we're about out of tea, though. Out of required tea cups, so... Let's get that- let's get that star- let's get the cool ghost tea. Gotta get the ghost tea, I mean, I'm a ghost. So that's a required tea. You cannot progress without ghost tea if you're playing as a Shadox. I mean, I know I'm a bat, but I might be a bat dox. Bat dox, so that sounds really cute, I haven't done that before. 
I wouldn't mind being a bat fox. That should be a thing. Bats are great. This is me in any Pokemon game. Oh, dude, when Sword releases, you'll see that. I'm gonna go fucking grind, and I'm not gonna leave a field until I think I've until I until I think I've caught everything in a, in a field and such. You know, that's just how. Well, okay, they're not in fields anymore, are they? Sword and Shield are gonna do the are gonna do the uh, Let's Go thing where the Pokemon are just out and about, right? Well, that'll save me some time. Cause I'm the guy who would always like check grass for an inordinate amount of time just to make sure there wasn't any rare Pokemon in it. I'm I'm a very methodical creature. It might seem boring, but it's just the way I do things. I, I like doing it. It's fun to be thorough. I like being thorough. It makes me feel very satisfied. Actually, I saw a challenge recently where somebody tried to train a level 100 Pokemon before, like, the first gym. And that was a challenge. It required a lot of effort, but they managed it. Yeah, whatever. You know what's gonna be really funny, guys? What's gonna be really funny is when I finish with the shopkeeper, I go to the right, and then I learn there's a giant- there's an area of, like, way more teacups just to the right I could've used for this. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually gonna be a thing. This feels like a pretty good run, though. Also, there's no enemies or hazards or anything I have to worry about, so... I assume there's gonna be enemies. Hi, boy. Hi there, Esler. Alright, uh, oh no, Ghost Tea costs 500, my bad. Well, we gotta get that- oh, Ghost Tea, very important. Almost there. Why is this Ghost a shopkeeper? That's a big question. Oops, so well. I'm missing everything! Dabs, they will have to do so much work for this boss fight there in the game. Me and the level 100 team, not, not, I don't think. Well, part of the fun of, like, in an RPG grinding really early, which I like to do too, part of the fun of that is if you run into an encounter that you're supposed to lose and then you're too strong and you beat it. Sometimes you can break a game doing that. It's kind of great. Like, no, they're gonna be level 20 at most. So this encounter is strong enough to defeat them. And I'm like, hey, I'm level 92. What are you saying? Oh, this guy's supposed to kill me? I see. Thanks thanks for letting me know. I, I, well, nice try on that. <laughs> Plot Chris, the game generates more pal palettes at random and never ends. That's actually... That would be really impressive if that was the... Oh, 777. <laughs> I see where you're going with this game. You, you really don't want me to do this, do you? <laughs> you want the gold tea? <laughs> Alright. Honestly, I should be worried, though, because if you consider something, the shop numbers have four digits. That means there is a high possibility that something costs four digits. Okay, we're moving forward. We're gonna move forward now. We got the ghost tea. I will move forward. Yes. We will move forward. Hello? Actually, do I have an attack? Let's see. Oh, I can quickly sh switch pallets. I didn't even know that. Hi. Boo. I'm guessing you just want to- you'll just hurt me, right? Oh, no, I can step on you. Okay. It's good to know that. Hey, do I get extra tea when I pick up a kettle? Scary ghosts. Oh, 
Oh, a down. Oh, the music changed, because I went in a different area. Is there a point to this? Not for the looks of it. So that way, there's also a this way. Okay, uh, this music is fucking adorable. I didn't realize it would change with the area. Oh. Sorry, I'm just listening to the adorable music. So it's over here. Also, is there a, like a, I should save, save. I found myself wondering if, uh, if there's a map function somewhere. I mean, there is. There's obviously one at the top of the screen, but I mean, like, a bigger map. Hi. Wait, hold on. Oh. Hey, you come up a bird? Why? I'm gonna save for gold tea. Also, if I see a really good tea grain spot, I might grind again. Very spoop. This is a good spoop game. Also, I love these Sage games. Again, S Sage was released in, uh... Oh, I saw that. Ah, that requires... I see. I understand entirely how to get up there. Not that way. I actually had the right idea. I just need to jump further. Oh my. And then I went all the way down. So does it make it clear? It does actually make it clear how many teapots are on each screen. So on this screen, there's actually four. You can, there's actually a lot of information on screen. On the left, you can see what each area has and whether or not I've gotten everything in an area. It's actually really well done. I like that. So this area has a lot. Oh, fuck. Sarah has a lot more going on than I've actually found. Which is fine. There we go. Yeah, here. That's another one. A hello pump, please. A Tora Adora Bull, very spoop. I didn't even notice it. The pickup sound for the kettles remind me of Treasures from Wireland. Yeah, I can kinda hear it. So it looks like we can go right or down or other down in this area. Okay. I don't know where my health bar is. That's the only problem with... Oh, wait, no. I have, it's energy, isn't it? I understand now. That looks like a one-way drop.
Ah. Okay, well, that's all that. Let's, uh, let's go down here, then. What do we got down here? Okay, I can... Wait. Is this efficient? I'm not sure. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Probably not that efficient, though. Oh! Uh, thank you for the follow! It's still anonymous, right. Thank you for all the same, whoever just followed. So there's another underground section over there. Got it. Just trying to be thorough about the tea kettles, because why not? Or teapots and tea kettles. Well, obviously tea kettles too. Um, actually, if Guan is still here, a vivid wolf. I followed just now, you were on my auto house before I said Twitch. Oh, hi! Yeah, um... The reason that it said Anomnus is because uh, I use Streamlabs for my notification systems. And Streamlabs currently is, like, the Streamlabs app, I don't know, the program had some sort of issue with the latest Firefox update and, uh, and Chrome. So now it's, like, doing this for now. It'll be fixed, but it's just, yeah, it won't display names correctly for the time being. <laughs> Kinda sucks. Yeah. But, it doesn't matter too much, because it still announces when people do things, so. It's only broken for that and, I think, physical, like, direct donations. I think it works for everything else, though. Oh, see you later, Tyke. You have a good work day, okay? Also, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for auto-hosting me, Vibby. Uh, I just got on the, I just got on the Furries on Twitch, so I'm kind of happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. It, uh, I spent, I've spent like half a year trying to, trying to get on it. Uh, just contacting and stuff. Took a little while. But, eventually got through. I'm very happy to be here. I've been trying to build my channel for like two years. Well, more than that, technically, but it was kind of hobbyist before then. Finally, a heart. I needed one. Ah. This game's music is adorable. This is basically Shadok spook music. This is the sort of spook music you expect from a Shadox. At least under normal circumstances, unless Shadox gets serious. Sh serious spook is slightly different. Let's see, I'm still missing a... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, what? I'm confused, I f Somehow I... Okay, I just realized how weird it was, it was I was about to... I was about to say, how did I face through that ghost? It's literally a ghost. That's not really that weird, but... <laughs> I'm used to lighting on them by now. I I'm used to popping them. How dare I face through it? Oh well. <laughs> 
If you look at the map, it kind of looks like a face. I kind of see it. It looks like the press face, maybe? Alright then. One to, one to go up there, but alright. What about, uh... Right. Game's not letting me up there for some reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. If that last one looked like a face, this looks like a spindly sort of monster person. But, like, I'm in its arm right now. Now I'm starting to see things too. Also, I appreciate the names of all these areas. K Sleepy Bat, Flap Your Wings, Learn to Fly, Knee Deep in Tea, Cabin Mile Dreams, Hibiscus Deaths, Ginger Roots. There's some- this is a very tea-themed game and it's- it's adorable, I love it. Tea and bats, what else do you need in life? Things charm? Wait, what do you mean? Bad tea, that's all you need. You don't need sight. Basically. Play a tea game about Mala. Does Mala like tea? I forgot. Well, he should he should uh, be here then. Should oh no! Maybe I can still do that. I said oh no because I just realized there's like an enemy chain there where I was supposed to do hops. Maybe I can still do it though. No, I don't think I can, because that enemy was that enemy was required too. So the game's doing the th what I expected it might do, where I actually need to be careful of, what I, of the enemies and use them correctly, as I kind of figured that might happen. There is a vine up there, though. Maybe I can make use of that still. Let's see. I think I can. All right, good. If, if it. There we go. Excellent. You weren't in anyways, get out of here. Overworld theme. Is everybody reminded of the Vitro? Oh, that game. That game series, I should say. I know about it, yeah. Hey, Guan, since you're here, does this remind you of the, the ZX Spectrum and kind of, uh, does it remind you of those, what are those games called where they, 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 they're kind of screen by screen based game and each screen has a name? You know what I'm talking about? It was kind of, it's kind of an older retro kind of ZX Spectrum sort of. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do, of all people. Cosmos Great Adventure, there you go. We did play a game like that for Halo for an hour. It was like a TV, it was TV Man or something like that. I don't remember quite what it was called. Quite good. Wow, we have a lot of people here for how late it is. I'm glad I decided to post that announcement. It seemed to work out. Also, I see that there is probably a tea kettle hidden in an underground cave I can't reach. So I think I have everything else here. Oh, except for those. Alright, so I need to... Uh, I need to go back down, I guess. 
game is adorable. I love its interface. It's kind of a weird interface where it's like, we got this big screen, right? But then we only have a very small portion of it actually being the game screen. But it works! It doesn't feel cramped or anything, it feels fine. Ooh, evil skulls. I found the secret one. All right, there we go. Anodyne. Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually, good point. Anodyne, too, with the screen, how the screen crunch works there. It's not really a screen crunch at that point. It's just... It's compact screen usage, I guess. I'm not sure how you would term it, but... There we go, I can now buy Tiger Tea, okay. I also bought Tiger Tea. I can also buy that, I have enough. Turbo Tea. Oh no, Virtual Tea, uh oh. The Apology Path, for and no, it doesn't quite remind me, it reminds me of screen-based, old CX Spectrum, like, kind of era games. I can't quite place. What is Tiger Tea? Oh, like a white tiger? Huh. Oh, that's, so this is the really expensive gold tea. Let's use it for a bit since it costs 777. We may as well. It's interesting, I can kind of know how long this game is just by the level list on the, on the side there, you see it? Sorry. I like farming. What did I say? Alright, there we go. <laughs> But like, I imagine we, this game is as long as that level list goes down. Total 27. Oh, I actually... I got all the teapots for the Campbell Fa Forest, I think. I did. We are now at Minty Meadow. Okay. And I immediately found another one. All right. Oh, without moon in the background, though. Hold on. Nah, that's not it. I mean, it is, but it's not the one I want. Yeah, there we go. Got a moon tea for the moon. <laughs> Point is bad. All right. The hitboxes are very generous. The hitboxes are very generous for light enemies. I appreciate that. I like how looking at the map actually can give you hints, like, there's a weird hole there, hmm. Welcome. 256 to have eye pain. Alright, we're almost there. Let's just go a little farther, farther with this.
One more. That's enough. All right, boy. 256. I just realized the joke there, yeah. Binary T is 200, all right. <coughs> well, we know what we are putting on now. Oh, this will this will be like, oh my. Oh my, that's the virtual buy, all right. My new two should be like zero one zero one, actually. This is a chill game. So, uh, I promise I'm not trying to focus on this, but, uh, how, how bad have the frame reps been? Anything worse than you have to normally deal with? Well, you seem to be able to still enjoy a stream even with drops, so I guess that's a good sign in a way. Not the worst. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for dealing with them. How's my viewership doing right now? 17 viewers putting up with it? I appreciate that. Probably helped that I actually mentioned in the announcement that it would happen, but. Hopefully not be that bad. That's four or six. Uh, let's see. Oops. There's one there. How do I get that ledge up there? Is the question I have. Oh, I see. Well, I know the last one is that I need. There we go. How much do I need for the next one? 100, was it? So I definitely have enough now. No, 200, 200. We wanted it to be 100. Right. He has not dropped 30 minutes. Okay. 200. Even says nice in the energy TPA when you get a teapot. Nice. Like, literally, nice. Oh, music change. Hello. Who are you? Bye. Is that a dragon ghost or something? I'm not really sure. Music is fucking great. 
One oh, we wanted one oh one. Well, one oh one would have been even better. Would have been even better. Looks more doggo to me. Maybe it is. Map five, Rufus. Okay, I guess you're right about the doggo bit. Oh, a boss. That's the thing we're doing. All right. You got it. Hits. Hits. Yeah. Ow. I didn't know we'd be doing boss fights. That's pretty great, actually. I love the earthbound background. Pretty great. Yeah. Encouragement. Teapot. I've still- wait, hold on. There's still some of this area, I guess. Pepper Sprint. I wonder why it's called Pepper Sprint. Maybe I'll find out. I like that the secrets are secrets, but they're not really something you have to stress over. They're pretty easy to figure out. Very earthbound, aside from the fact it wasn't turn-based. Binary T. Next is the switch T. Switch? Hmm. Binary. What's binary exactly? Oh no. Guys, there's a problem with binary, and that problem is I can't see what option I'm selecting in the inventory. <laughs> I see. I, I don't. I think I'm going to turn it off because I can't tell what I'm choosing. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's go. Let's do terminal, sure. see what I was doing. Um, castle Grey. Storm the castle. Alright. I don't think I regret the grinding, because I don't think this game is long enough for the grind to have not... I think the grinding was a good idea. How much was the next one? Uh, 400. Okay. That one looks more spooky. Why does it sound like a popular pop song from the 90s? Guan, you hear it. If anybody would know it, it'd be you. <laughs> the first part. I mean, I like it. It's good. <laughs> I just noticed it. It does kind of sound like... I don't know what song it is, but it does sound like it reminds me of something. You hear it too, right? Specifically the first part of the song. That's a hard job, but I used to there. Yeah, that part, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, I like it. It works. The problem I have with this song is it's a bit short. Good beat, a little short. Could 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 stand to have like another loop, like another section. I would probably add another. I probably would have added another section to the song. Was it the late two thousands? 
I wasn't gonna age that much, but maybe you're right. There's words at the bottom, right? You can do it, I think it says. Can I? Thanks, castle walls. <laughs> there's a drawing down there. There's a silly, there's a silly little drawing there. Okay. Okay. Thirty what? I'm not sure what that is unlocked by, but thirty. Well, I'll go there in a second. Oops. Thirty teapots. All I have. 53, but I think I'm good in that regard. I want to go to the pitcher. Can I go to the pitcher? Hi there, Casey. What is that? It looks like a... What, what character is that next to the You Can Do It? Oh, there's an underground this direction. I just realized I'm going somewhere new. Let's go this way first. Should I go down or should I open the teapot door first? Oh, thank you for the follow. The layout of this place is kind of compl complicated. The biggest value of collecting the teacups is knowing where I've been. Door last, probably where the end is. That's what I'm thinking too. Still missing a couple here. I, I hope they're down. Otherwise, I'm not sure where they are. Good night to you, Jake. And good morning to everyone that's waking up. The stream may go a while simply because I'm not doing well. Oh god, hello. Ow. I can't kill him, he's on the silly. I feel gypped. I keep hearing cra things crashing, I'm not really sure why. Oh. Oh! A shortcut is then opened. Okay. I'll take it. It's out here. Under the ruins. Alright. Very dark in here. Hello. I can't wait to watch this part. The game pulled away from a movie. Oh, okay, go on. I'll see you later. Very late arrow for a movie. You have a good time with that movie. Thank you. 
Well, I got everything in the castle, I guess. The song is catchy, aside from the fact it's too short. Actually, I think I know what I do for a second measure. If I was the one writing it, that is. Hop up here and cross these guys. Hi. I'd like to buy the switch tea, please. That was the last one! I bought everything. Boo. Tell me about the area. Actually, I didn't ask about Minty Meadow. I should ask him about Minty Meadow. Castle Grey, quite the chain of pace, huh? This place is just full of spooky ghosts, and not the kind you to sell you tea flavors for a fair price. So long way to the tower, I hope you're ready. Oh, okay, there's more area then, okay. Well, thanks for letting me buy everything in your shop. Uh, let's see, so what's switch? So, inverted colors? No, this is not Nintendo Switch. This is, ow, 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 I don't like it. Let's put it simply. All right, what have we have? What haven't we used? We have a ki kiwi. Oh, that was uh... kiwi. Looks nice. He's telling me. He's telling me. He's telling me flavors. To be fair. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I forgot to get his advice about the previous areas, er, area, so I kinda want to. Hi. Uh, tell me about this area. Minty Meadows? Haven't come this way before? I must say, it's quite the relaxing sight. Beautiful lakes and meadows are the fresh smell mint everywhere you go. It's like your stress is just vanishing in the valley's mi minty winds. Smiley face. Alright, thank you. Wait, hold on. I can select myself on this menu. That doesn't do anything, but I can do it. Why can I? S just on that one menu, I can select myself for no apparent reason. <laughs> Odd. I'm not concerned about tea was actually used as a currency before, wasn't it? Pretty sure it counted as an exotic good and. Counted as a tradable, like, or a defi definite tradable resource, that. I don't know why I'm still trying to collect tea. It's satisfied, I guess. <coughs> Alright, I have more than enough tea for this, so let me in here. Uh. Oh, that's it? Area 4, you rock. Apparently I got to area four. Oh, that kept. I don't want. But, but there's more room for levels down below. Oh, it's actually highlighting over the people on the right. Huh. Even the even the ghost said that there's still a long way to go to the tower. I, I guess. Oh, it says- it does say beta at the very top of my, uh, window. So this, I guess, is not the full game. I just assumed this was the full game. Yeah, it's actually, if you look at the bo bottom right, it does say Demo 4. <clears throat> so... Fair enough. This is a fun little game. I liked it a lot. So that was T-Bat. Just an interesting interface, good music, good gameplay. Just a fun little game. <laughs>